There we are. Now, where are we actually yeah. going? Oh, roll to save. Amazing. It's been a week, but for some reason it feels like it's been much longer. I guess we go to the next area? Hmm. Seems the monorail device isn't currently stationed. Who calls the train a device? Maybe we're going to have to walk? This sounds dangerous. <laughs> Give us back our sugar! How? Oh. oh, he said something. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought I remembered there was something interesting that happened here. If I remember right, this is actually annoyingly long. But. A vagabond trade car. Okay. Hey, you just move up and down for a minute and a half? Like, jeez. I remember this being really annoyingly long. When I first saw it. Yeah, this is our version of, uh... The... The Smokestack minigame from the first game, I guess. It's hard to tell that the middle is safe when there's actually ghosts covering the entire... Three rows visually. Yeah, that's the hardest part for me. Seeing quickly which rows are actually on. Because they... They cover up two rows of space. But yeah, this is this is a weird take on Magic Pipe, just like really echoey. I really like Magic Pipe, but how you just like uh, in a faint echo with a low pass hold drawing is kind of awkward. Go cat, go. Yep, see, it's always that's what messes me up. Yeah, and then you have one that comes really quickly. Um, whenever I talk, it messes me up. Like that. Oh, then the song loops. It's only a minute and a half, man. There's, there's literally a timer. You know how long it's going to go on for. I, I knew they were going to pull that trick again. <laughs> yeah, and there's another one on the right. Again. Anyways, yeah, not the most exciting music that probably should have been. Like, a calmer version of Magic Pipe is not really... Right. My lungs are burning hot. I don't think my legs have ever been used in such a vigorous manner. Yeah. No one else has any reaction to this? Okay, cool. Alright, well, I guess we're in Area 3. Hello, sir. Same thing as before. Maybe. Uh, I guess we can do something here this time. Yeah, no mysterious blockage now. Oh, and now they go in the window. Just to the factory, right. Oh. <laughs> Just in case you couldn't actually tell that you can walk in there. Well, I want Magic Pipe 2.0. How do I climb up these, by the way, if I don't have arms and legs? Climbing up a ladder as a quadruped sounds quite... Oh. I must give thanks to this circumstance to place that bag in the position to save our perilous bell. Convenient. I believe to have chipped one of my few remaining teeth. And you look like you have plenty. I'm fine. It's still alive, thankfully. Let us carry onwards then, blocks. Well, I guess I again appreciate an acknowledgement of everyone's existence. I find lots of games where you call it kind of like solely a mass party members can be kind of bad about that. Where like you, you'll have people that have like stories, characters that have stories and whatnot. Oh, save point. Okay. Sure. No, I cannot interact with these. But then, as soon as they actually join the party, it's like the character arc space just over. Like they they never even appear again. Practically, it's like they're just out of the story. Paper Mario was always really bad about that, I thought. This game does that a little bit, too. Sugar. Sh... Sh... The sugar. What he said. We should check downstairs first. In what world? No. I see nothing but darkness down this hole. It's not a trustworthy place to venture. So like all the other places we've gone have been trustworthy. Oh, 
Oh. Really? Hi. Is, 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 is this supposed to be secret or something? I've been wondering if Sekri breaks the fourth wall too often. A little. I feel like I should try and be like him, but uh, breaking the wall that many times a day just feels tiring. Maybe I should just do what I feel comfortable with. I'm sorry to say, but I don't think I make the best therapists, you see. What? I'm actually here to buy some supplies. If you're still selling, that is. Does she have to her dialogue if this is the first time you see her? Or does she not appear here otherwise? If you, if you, if you didn't see her in the first area. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I Since she appeared in Zone 2 and now Zone 3, it makes me wonder if I missed her in Zone 1. Anyways. No, this really seems... Oh, that's a better code. That's, that's worthwhile. Otherwise, like, we have more shops than we have stuff to get. It's kind of weird. You do not have a selection of rare items like this. I have this stuff. Do you sell things for a different amount? Okay, I can save back this book. Dang it. There you go again. Gotta work on that. What? I'm still not comfortable doing her voice, wait, but... Uh, I'll work on it. Anyways. <laughs> I'll sell at least two of these. I'd like to have a uh, extra one. Please keep sugar within designated areas. As far as I can tell, that's basically everywhere. Okay, this seems like a very, uh, that hole seems very, very well, uh, emphasized to me, but okay. Anyways. I guess we'll go downstairs. Oh, I think the first game did that too, if it, the bad would refuse to go down, or the bad would refuse to leave if you tried to go... To, to do so without going down too. You... What? Where did you come from? Yeah. Yeah, this is a recreation of a scene from the first game. I am the judge. I came through the chute that runs to the top of this facility. Oh, you lose the joke here though. I, with, in the first game the joke is that usually he says, I am the batter. I'm on a second mission to purify this world. Except that time he says, I am the batter. I came through the chimney. And then, he just, uh, then the, the Elson just says, Ah, okay. And that's it. Yeah, it's like they recreated it without the joke. <laughs> well, what exactly is this locale that we are presented with? Uh, <laughs> is this really the guy that wants... I think this person does tell you about what they're doing in the first game, too. But considering how, how everyone here is acting, you don't expect them to give you much exp much exposition. Anyways, um, you're here in the sugar ovens of Vesper. The northern part of Zone 3. Here we burn the corpses of people who have died, and thanks to an ingenious pure system, pure, transform the vapor into sugar. The tubes which traverse the factory walls directed to the treatment rooms, where it is washed and purified from the remaining ashes. I'm trying to like do the weird Elson voice and simultaneously do more weird on top of it. It's hard to layer like this. Then the sugar is distributed to all the employees as a reward for the work they do every day. Might you tell us where we can find the one behind this sugar operation? Period. The director is responsible. He, he's in area four. Thank you, kind Ricker. We'll be heading onwards. Are you not going to comment on, like, a no reaction to corpse? His vital signs are no longer showing. How do you know they ever work? I have work to do. This is an oven lit by corpses. I guess you don't really seem to care, but it's a pile of carcasses laying here. Okay, cool. I think it'd be pretty warm in here.
Nemo. Do not mourn the dead. Mourn the small servings of sugar you get. Where are we? Do you do you mourn the bread you eat too? I be able to fill to the brim with sugar, I believe we've seen one of those before. Please ignore any pungent smells in the factory. It would be mostly sugar, I would think. Something tells me I shouldn't walk into the room with a oh. Okay. Jeez, it's so hazy in here. Oh yeah, what attacks do we even have right now? I'm not attacking enough. Nope. Oh, never mind. I do have some decent attacks with Valerie, right? Poison. Decent damage. There we go. Well, he looked unmuted for a second there. Do I have reason to try to heal right now? No, I don't. No. I'm wasting some time there. It's just... It's been over a week since I've done any of this. I need to remember what things are where. I think we've seen these things before. Wash your hands before and after handling dead workers. Why before? I guess it's because they get turned into sugar. Although I know corpses have to get purified too into sugar, so. Just laying here. Lazy. Stop that. Sir, I think you forgot something. Stop preventing us from doing things. I don't really need a physical attack these days. Huh. Amazingly, Alok can, can still bite things while blinded. He's got a very good nose. He knows where everything is. He can always find the taste of things. He seems hurt a lot, by the way. Oh, you're muted too now. Whatever. Oh. Eh. I was about to say, well, at least you can hit things hard. Nope. Okay, here we go. Ooh. You need to heal up soon. Can I examine that? Actually, if I may. Alright, what's in here? I was about to say, I feel like this is a place where I'm going to end up fighting things. Hi. I hate when they put things in place where you just really can't read them. Oh, I already saw that one. Okay, well, imagine, I imagine things are going to happen in this room, so... Is it like a pedal recall point on the left there? Anyways, we should probably cut things off before we do all that stuff next time, so bye everyone.